So this just, do you do it from the front? Yes. So like. Oh no. Like this. Oh, oh no. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> or is this right? That's fine. Is it fine? That's fine. Oh, it's real stuck. Yeah, it's cause there's. Ooh. Is this supposed to hurt a lot? <laughs> no. Oh, it hurts a lot. You're not putting it in right then. Okay. Is that better? I fix it? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I made a new design. Look at that. It's still holding my hair up. It's just in the air now. Is that wrong? Yes. This is wrong. It's so wrong. Oh, no. Oh, don't do that. You're going to... I'm going to do what? You're going to, like, twirl your hair into a knot. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. Trust me. You don't want to do that. Do I have devil horns? <laughs> I'm not trying to... So where did I go wrong? It was supposed to... No, 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 no. You start here. Okay. See? And then you kind of put that in place behind your ears. Yeah. And then you set it up against your forehead and you push it back. See? See how far back it is? Oh. Not very. Okay. I guess I did need some instruction. On my ears. Mm -hmm. That's as far back as you need to go. And this is it. Okay. Neat. This is just to keep it out of your face until it grows out because it looks ridiculous. First off, hi everyone. Welcome to uh, Friday. I, we actually ordered these weeks ago, but they were on back order, I guess, because other people were growing their hair out too. And um, my, my hair, it hasn't really been in my face too much to be completely honest. Like sometimes it is, and then sometimes it's it's all right. For the most part, it's been all right, but I, you know, as a preemptive precaution, in case it started to make its way more towards the front of my face, I was like, well, this might be a good move. It should sit where your headphones sit. Okay, well, you know, my headphones don't have jaggy plastic pieces yeah. that dig into my head. So comparing these to headphones is not really an adequate thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how I look. That's fine. It looks normal in the front and it's like a puff in the back. A puff. <laughs> a puff. My hair is a puff. Well, I don't think I need this yet because it hasn't really been in my face a whole lot. But when it does, if it does, maybe it'll maybe they'll keep growing up and stay on my face. If it does, I'll be ready with this um, slightly painful contraption. There we go. I would look to your left. I, honest to God, if that one comes to life, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. No! 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 So for the record, uh, I am, I didn't have the head headband, headband, headband. It's no wonder I can't speak. I just got through doing um, some songs. Um, I, ha I haven't had the headband on all night. Um, I, I just, Mal just put it on me just a, a little bit ago. I'm still in the process of getting things, um, there we go, shut down. Not completely shut down. I'm waiting on OBS to, currently waiting on OBS to remux the file. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Because um, I know some folks that, you know, they, they don't do the streaming stuff. They may still be interested in, like, the process. So, um... Uh, I will. On OBS, there's a, there's a feature that allows you to split the audio tracks out, and we utilize that during game streams. We don't bother with it during breakfast stream, but we utilize it for game streams, and uh, it keeps our commentary track separate from the game's audio track, separate from uh, the alerts, um, separate from the music, not that we ever use the music, and it, the, the intended purpose of that is whenever it goes to Dan, Dan can adjust our audio 
and the game's audio independently. Because if it get, if it just gets like mixed together, then whatever you hear is just whatever you hear. And there's some ways that you can fiddle with it, but it gets a lot more difficult. Uh, but if we keep it separate, then Dan can adjust it. So the YouTube version, if there's a part where the game should have been louder, we can't do that on the fly here in, during the stream, but he can fix that for, for YouTube. The Remux part is just taking all of the information and changing the file type to a, a more editing-friendly file type. Is what that means. I like to explain stuff like that because I, I know sometimes, um, sometimes people watching, I might say something uh, that might be a little technical for something, either like a, a streaming thing or uh, maybe a camera thing. I'll try and remember to explain that because you know it may not be for everyone, but I I know a lot of people like to learn about things. Um, case in point, um, Alex, my good buddy Alex, three much and stuff, um, has made he just the other day made a video that explains how to start an Unreal project from like scratch. And he just really wanted to make this tutorial. It's like a super in-depth tutorial. It has sections. It's half an hour long. If you're if you're interested in watching this, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description. If I don't, yell at me and I'll I'll put it put it there. But um I was just watching it, it was just it was fascinating because it's not the life I live. I don't know anything about that world. And, you know, I know enough to, like, follow along a little bit in, in terms of what he's doing, but he just does a really good job. He's a really good presenter. He's a really good voice. And he made the, the video really coherent. And even though it's not something I plan on doing, I don't plan on making a game in Unreal, but I just I watched the whole thing because I was really invested in it. So hopefully you guys enjoy little explanations like that, too. So now that that is remuxed, the file can be moved over to the Mac, um, and then ultimately to a, a storage drive that's connected to the Mac, where we just store all of the streams in this remuxed MP4 format. And then eventually, when Dan starts editing Breath of the Wild, he hasn't started yet, I'll just start giving him all of this stuff, transport to him over, uh, over Dropbox, and then he can edit it. And then, of course, I keep the streams for long-term storage as well. Anyway, tonight was great. <laughs> Um, the ch chat was wild again. Um, we've been having really, really big turnouts, which is fun. I'm glad that folks have been really enjoying um, tuning in to watch us play. Uh, also, we did so many songs last week, and we did so many songs this week, too. Uh, folks wanted to see us sing and, and lose our minds, and th there was one in particular that I was, I was really... That was, like, when you sing a bunch of songs in a row, you just... I. None of them have to necessarily be like complete awful stinkers, but there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot that are like passing, and then occasionally you'll get some that are like really like good gems, and then there will be like one of the night that I'm just I look back and I'm like okay we really I did good on that one, and the one tonight was I was doing the voice for Elmo and the voice for for Chainsmoker Zelda, and they sang a duet, but it was me. Sing about how Elmo and Zelda go way back. Don't you know that Elmo and Zelda, we go way back. Yeah, it's because for a long time, we've been sharing packs. Elmo needs you to pass that, because Elmo needs a toke. Why don't you just take this? I got plenty of my own smokes. That is not a thing that should have ever existed, and yet, now it does. That was the highlight of, of my evening from the, the song side. Um, Zelda is continuing to be wonderful and, and great, and I've really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I, I continue to realize how big it is. It was a... Today was noteworthy, because today I discovered uh, the first Guardian that was alive. And I won't spoil it, because I know there's going to be a lot of people that want to watch it on YouTube, haven't seen the stream yet, but, um... It's good. It's good. I would say that, overwhelmingly, that was probably a majority of, of the chat's favorite moment for the for the night, too. And it was, uh... It was fun. It was fun. Zelda's scary, man. It's scary. Like, you feel like you have a pretty good handle on things, and then you get to... You get to some parts, and you're like, ah, I'm scared. 
I am very afraid of this game. <laughs> anyway, I've had a good evening. This has been really fun. I look forward to this every week now. This is a really good... Um, I mean, I know it's, it's work, but it, it feels like time away from work for me. Uh, it's just fun to do. Now I'm going to go downstairs, and Mal and I are going to have... I guess just a little snack. I'm not supposed to eat anything, but I would like a little snack. I'm not supposed to eat anything because those those probiotics, but I guess I could stay up a little bit. Maybe just a little bit longer. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you were here live, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the stream. We had a blast. And of course, we will be back next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern for more Breath of the Wild. And uh, even if you missed the first few streams, they're up already on Twitch, so you can watch them. You can scrub through them if you want to, you know, skip the breaks and just watch the episode stuff. Otherwise, this will be uh, all starting to come out on YouTube next month, and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for it. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?